Hello everyone! Today I'm going to tell you a story from West Java called Telaga Warna. So, long time ago there was a great kingdom in West Java. The kingdom was ruled by a king named Prabhu. Prabhu was kind and wise king. No wonder if that country was prosperous. There's no hunger in this kingdom. It was very happy condition, but it was pity that Prabhu and the queen hadn't got any children. It made the royal couple was very sad. That was why Prabhu decided to go. He went to the jungle. There, he prayed to the girl, begging for a child. Oh, Lord, you have given me everything, but until now, I don't even have a child, so please show me your miracle. Fortunately, his dream comes true. A few months later, the queen got pregnant. All people in the kingdom felt happy to hear that. Nine months later, the beautiful princess was born. People sent their presents again as a gift to a little princess. Oh! How beautiful you are! Thank you! This is the baby who I wait during time. This is, I bring it for the beautiful baby. Thank you very much. Prabhu and the Queen love their doctor so much. But other father, I want some dolls and a pair of shoes. But wait, I'm hungry. Can I have a box of ice cream? And some meats, please? On my way, sweetheart. That's right. Prabhu gave her everything she wanted. That makes the princess being a very spoiled girl. Even though the princess behaved badly, her parents still fell for her. So did the people in the kingdom. Day by day, the princess grew more beautiful in a few days. The princess would be 17 years old. So, people in the kingdom, they bought many presents for her. Their presents gift were very beautiful. People in the kingdom gave him a lot of gold and jewels. So, he thought to make it a necklace. Then, he took the gold and jewels to the goldsmith. Birthday is coming. People gathered in the palace field. Cheers were louder and louder when the princess appeared with her fabulous, pretty face. Everyone admired her beauty. Prabhu got up from his chair. A man gave him a small and glamorous pillow. A beautiful necklace was on it. Prabhu took the necklace. My dear doctor, today I give this necklace to you. This necklace is a gift from people in this country. They love you so much. Please, wear this necklace. The princess received the necklace. She glanced at the necklace. I don't want to accept it. It's ugly. Then she threw the necklace. The beautiful necklace was broken. The gold and jewels are spread out on the floor. Everybody couldn't say anything. They never thought that their beloved princess would do that cruel thing. Nobody spoke. In their silence, people heard the queen was crying. Every woman feels sad and begins to cry too. Their tears turns into a puddle. There was a miracle. From the underground, a spring emerged. It made a pool of water. The place was getting full. Then, the place became a big lake. The lake sank all of the kingdom. Nowadays, the water on that lake is not as full as before. There's only a small lake now. People call the lake 
Talaga Warna. It is named the Lake of Color. It's located in Pi, West Java. On a bright day, the lake is full of color. So beautiful and amazing. These colors are from shadow of forest, plants, flowers, and sky around the lake. But some people say that the colors are from princess necklace which spreads at the bottom of the lake. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, from this story, we can learn that we have to be careful and thoughtful before making decision so that in the future, it will not be a boomerang for ourselves. Thank you.